And on to the final example for today's lecture. For a control system with g p of s equal 1 over s times s squared plus 4s plus 5, use a PID controller to place the poles at negative 1 plus or minus j and negative 1. So the first thing we're going to do is to derive the desired characteristic equation, delta of s. So delta of s is equal to s plus 1 times s plus 1 plus j times s plus 1 minus j, which equals s plus 1 times s squared plus 2s plus 2, and finally, s cubed plus 3s squared plus 4s plus 2. And then using our general form for a characteristic equation, nc np plus dc dp, that equals kds squared plus kps plus ki times 1 plus s s times s squared plus 4s plus 5, which simplifies to s to the fourth plus 4s cubed plus 5 plus kd s squared plus kps plus ki, okay? So now what we're going to do is add another pole so that they have the same order. So what we're going to do here is we're going to have s to the fourth plus 4s cubed plus 5 plus kd times s squared plus kps plus ki equals s plus a times our desired characteristic equation, s cubed plus 3s squared plus 4s plus 2. And when we multiply this out, we get s to the fourth plus a s cubed plus 3s cubed plus 3a s squared plus 4s squared plus 4a s plus 2s plus 2a, and the final answer, s to the fourth plus the quantity 3 plus a, s cubed plus the quantity 4 plus sa, 4 plus 3a, s squared plus 2 plus 4a, s, and finally 2a. And now let's equate coefficients. 3 plus a equals 4. So a is equal to 1. 4 plus 3a equals 5 plus kd. So kd equals 2, 2 plus 4a equals kp, so kp equals 6, and 2a equals ki, so ki is equal to 2. So the controller GC of s is equal to 2s squared plus 6s plus 2 over s, and we know that our additional pole is actually at negative 1, and our closed loop control system would be 2s squared plus 6s plus 2 over s to the fourth plus 4s cubed plus 7s squared plus 6s plus 2, and our open loop transfer function kgc of s gp of s 
is equal to 2s squared plus 6s plus 2 over s squared times s squared plus 4s plus 5. So now let's take a look at the root locus and the step response. Okay, here's the root locus for the uncompensated and the compensated system. So the first thing you should notice is that the shape and behavior changes because we went from a type 1 to a type 2 system. In the original system, it was not possible to get poles at negative 1 plus or minus j, although you could have had one at negative 1. So the shape changes, and now I've marked with data points the three poles for our desired solution. So here we have negative 1, negative 1 plus j, and negative 1 minus j. So just by adding this PID controller, we were able to increase the type, but we were also able to reshape the root locus in order to get the poles at the desired locations. And here is the step response for the comp uncompensated and the compensated system. So what you should notice here is that they actually both have zero steady state error for a step input. However, there is a quicker rise time and settling time for the one with the PID controller. This one has a settling time of approximately seven seconds compared to 20 seconds for the original uncompensated system. And there is some overshoot due to the quicker response. And this concludes today's lecture on frequency response design and pole and zero placement. Have a great day.